Oh yeah. So this will be interesting to see. Also an ignition matchup. I'm not sure if they've ever played an ignition, but they both regularly go to it. So yeah. So this is kind of a a rollout for that one. And they know that they're taunting. Okay, the Mega Man two medley going too. Okay, we got some. some and small battlefield. No, no PS2 first game here. Also, just quick, quick correction. I mean, they, I mean, they had the V Sword Fighter. Obviously, we're seeing uh, <laughs> Pokemon Trainer. Probably a much better matchup, honestly, than V Sword Fighter Inkling. Oh yeah, for sure. Because um, you know, Inkling moves around so much with their wacky hitboxes, and they have a weird momentum game. I feel like Squirtle and will be able to keep up with that. Similarly, with Ivysaur as well. Maybe some um, of the larger hitboxes on Ivysaur will be able to keep up. Not sure about Charizard though. Charizard might be able to get like a cheesy F tilt kill at best. But we'll see. You're probably, we're probably going to see Pack Stain on mostly Squirtle, specifically in neutrals, because it's the only character that they have that is fast enough to like compete with Inkling, and also mm -hmm. most of his hitboxes are grounded, so yeah. he can actually like... Oh, oh. Yeah, there's Ivysaur coming out for a little bit, but um, really staying in this neutral, you know, you saw a bit earlier, both Fanfu and Pack Diesel not really committing in the neutral kind of Throwing out hitbox to see if they can start something up. Charizard are going out. It looks like they want to switch yeah. back to Squirtle, but that's not going to come without stock. One thing I did, I do think Pack did really well though when he switched to Ivysaur specifically. He didn't rush out of the corner. A lot of people do tend to try to rush out of the corner, but he just kind of stayed back. But obviously, it doesn't matter at this point. No new stock. Mm -hmm. Full ink though. Uh, Around now is when you want to run away from Inkling. You want to wait till your ink runs out because yeah. one comp, one back here did about 20% right there. Like, yeah, that damage multiplier put in work. Is it 1.2? It's, 1 I, you don't ask me about these. I have no <laughs> idea about character stuff. Everyone knows this. <laughs> but it's probably, they, I, I would have to say it's 1.01 to 1.5 multiplier, probably. Let's hope, let's hope. <laughs> but 51% on pack. Uh, Man, we just take kind of doing what Inkling does best, just kind of taking these singular, singular hits. Not really. Obviously, Inkling has a lot of combos, but he's just trying to yeah. make sure he's getting that guaranteed percent, not using, overextending at all. Yeah, using the Pokemon Trainer switch in order to get out of that combo. Very smart from Pack Diesel. An interesting thing about this matchup, uh, you know, obviously three different characters on uh, Pokemon Trainer. That's three different Booyah percent ranges. So. You know, usually at high percent, people just stay as a uh, Zard or Ivysaur for to be heavier. But we might see Pack switched back to Squirtle just so he's out of the range. You know? That is a good point. Like, you know, you're past the percent, and all of a sudden you're back on Squirtle, and you can't do the Booyah anymore. That is a valid option, actually. But you're also once again at the risk of. Oh, well, here we go. Here yeah. we go. So now you're at the risk of back throw killing a lot earlier. But I think that's a fair trade-off because you're going to have to get grabbed out of that. I mean, there is the, the firm outside of Booyah and. Pack Diesel just, oh my god. Yeah, staring into Pat Fanfu's soul with that. Didn't do anything off of it, but kind of just intimidation. Fanfu really playing this waiting game right now. Uh, a minor thing, but I think Fanfu's uh, ink use has been amazing this game so far. I, I, he hasn't been close to rain out once, I don't believe. Yeah. But now he has about half of a gallon, so we're half a tank, sorry. Uh, yeah. Um, Pack Diesel really trying to look for some F, F tilt, but that is up throw? I, think I thought it would have killed. I thought it was going to be back throw, honestly. That's why I got confused for a second. Not catching that roll from ledge. Bad Boogie in a second chance at life right here. Fair, not going to take it. Splat and that Splat Bomb, bomb is going to take out Charizard. Bad Boogie sitting at 150. Not the best place. Nice that tag. Is, that is a good tag. I'm surprised that's not uh, untackable at 150. That is an back up throw. throw. Or back throw, yeah. close enough. <laughs> One, one of the throws will kill. Yeah, same thing, you know. And here we are in our last stock situation at 0% on both players. We're so getting some up, up airs in. Yeah, both, both players playing very... They're just kind of moving around a lot. You know, two of the faster characters in the game. Their entire, like, neutral, and even on that last stock when they were both at kill percent, has just been playing patient and trying to look for any kind of opening that they can without overextending. And uh, Fanfu really getting the upper hand here in this last stock. Who knows if it's going to be like this, but we'll see. 106. See, one thing I think, I, I mentioned it before, but something Fanfu's doing, like, really, really well is 
you know, once again, Inkling has those combos, but he's not overextending. He doesn't want to. Yeah. Like he's not pushing his. He's pushing his advantage, but not to the point where he's putting himself at risk. Yeah. It's like both of them really have um, been waiting, but Fanfu especially has been waiting for those openings, waiting, not trying to, you know, fall into anything or overextend. Pack these old at 150, basically max range. Rage, trying to look for a kill. Fanfu has to be really careful here. F tilt could take. I mean, he's only got 88, but he's already with full rage. Tip for F tilt can it, take it. It's really just last stock, last hit at this point. At 100, back here. Oh waiting. God. Not killing, but really oh this pressure off stage is going crazy. You know if they could, they could time it out for a minute thirty on the clock. Definitely won't get to that point, but the, no, the potential won't. is there. Fanfu just trying to look for something. Oh, that's throw. Yeah, pack F throw. F throw. F throw. Read the DI. Read the DI. That was it. All right, Fanfu. You can see in the player cam a little bit frustrated with himself there. <laughs> Taking a sigh of relief, you know. Pack these old doing F throw instead of up throw. With predicting the DI and having max rage, that barely killed, but still very good from him. You know, usually when people <laughs> try to go for like throw mix up, throw DI mix up, something like that, they'll just throw immediately just to catch you off guard. But pack pummeling, I think the pummeling convinced that's, fans. That's the mind game, yeah. He's like, okay, if he's pummeling, he's not confident it's gonna kill, so he's gonna do up throw. Because up throw is kinda wonky with how it kills. Because it, it feels like it should kill a lot earlier, but it doesn't. So I think that did play a part in it. I Definitely do good. not know if Fanfu is another character or not. No, nope. Wolf? Actually, no, he hit, I knew he played Lucina for a little bit, but I don't know about like what he would. Okay, uh, Fanfu's really thinking here. The problem um, with counterpicking, okay. I'm not even going to delve into that yeah. then, but. Yeah, just staying the same character. It did work out. I felt like game one, even though Fanfu didn't win, it was still a solid match, and they both knew how it was going to go, like, with the whole neutral, um, not overextending. I feel like not switching is the play, instead of trying to, you know, panic switch, and then all of a sudden you're kind of just fumbling at that point. There's also just that mentality of, like, you switch, you lose. Man, what would have happened if I stayed playing, you know? Oh, that is a fair point. But already at 75%, 92%, 107%. Well, the back is putting in works, not getting a light trump right there, though. About a fourth of ink on the PT right now. Fanfu, oh my god, trying to catch the like a roll, I think, but not quite fighting it. Not quite. Just trying to look for a kill here. Once again, Pac is like using Charizard with this uh, little bit of rage and also just have your uh, character try and get some extra damage in. Oh, not getting caught in the big hitbox of Blaster up, up smash, but... Fanfu needs to put something on himself right now, or like get something back though. Not quite getting the opportunity back, you're gonna take it? That's right. gonna do it. Back to about a full tank. Fanfu, we've seen at 85 pretty, he's looking pretty good this game. Uh, I see the switch. Oh, okay. oh my oh, god, okay. I the, love drag down up the air. The up air drag down on Inkling, that is a moment. I'm using Blastborn to get back on stage from Pack Diesel. Not throw, not gonna do much. See how this is going. Fanfu once again waiting around, just trying to look for this. Pack Diesel in the player camp, just kind of going around. I don't think they're too happy that this is the outcome right now. No, for sure. Pack, Pack, great player, great guy, but sometimes his mentality in game can be a little bit wavering. So as I think as long as Fanfu stays cool, keeps his lead, if he wins this game, I think game three will be a lot more in his favor because Pack will oh, yeah. probably get tilted. There's another up air. Pack's, Pack's got to get back into it. I don't know if it, at this point this game's a wash going to Fanfu and Pack's maybe just focusing on game three, but uh, we'll see if he can, he can bring it back right now. I just hope Pack doesn't let it affect him too much, you know? Just put your heart into this game. You know, he could. PT is a comeback character. You know, oh, yeah, for sure. huge combos with Squirtle, Ivysaur can rob stocks like it's nothing, and then same thing with Zard, honestly. Yeah, those, those hitboxes on up air and down air, pretty big, but already at 70% on the last stock, and uh, Fanfu really hasn't even lost a stock He's staying yet. staying so calm once again. Okay, wait, wait, Trying wait. to end it all right there with down air. Fanfu just playing really well, really safe for the most part. These offstage game from Fanfu has been really good. You know, in the first game, not getting pressured by Pack Diesel in this game. 
playing around, but that back that might back be a back throw. Oh my Not god, quite. Okay. a little bit closer maybe, but no ink Fandu. though. Oh my god, great low recovery, great tech by Path though. Mm -hmm. Naoto not gonna do anything. He's out of ink, so this is 200. Oh, another great tech from Fanfu. He does not want this stock to go away. He is getting every last penny Honestly, out of this. If Fanfu, okay, no, no, I was gonna say if Fanfu could grab a few pummels, might put him in Booyah for set. I'm trying to read an air dodge down into the up smash. Dad. Pack Diesel spoils ink up, and 106. It's not looking too good. Bamboo just needs to take his time on this at this point. It looked, it's really his game. You know, English one of those characters, when they have a lead, they can usually do a good job of holding it. But, so as long as uh, Bamboo doesn't panic or over yeah, it. Back there. Bamboo making sure not to overextend and yeah. like with any kind of, um, like not overextending early if they try to go on for something beforehand before that offstage back air. Going to game three, I don't see Pac switching. I don't think Pac should switch. I don't think they should switch either. I know that game looked kind of like he was out of it. Okay, running back to small battlefield. Triple I like small that. battlefield set. They're going back all three games. Okay. The sword fighter the coming out. The sword fighter. I'm not sure how well versed Fanfu is in this matchup, but I don't see it being good for sword fighter. I don't know how to feel about this. I know that either... I know down air can do some stuff. That can that can do a couple of multi hits into something. You know, chalk round tornado. I'm assuming that's what Pack Diesel has. That can be something as well. So just a reflector. Mm -hmm. That got off this patch. Chakram, I'm pretty sure he runs tornado and then either. Oh no! Oh, it's the, it's oh, the multi yeah, that, one. that okay. is a that's a good up B as well. I forgot about that one. Honestly, I'm pretty sure. All of them are pretty decent. I, I know the the one where he like slashes up and down, like that one's not as used as much, but it has its uses still. That that's like a decent up B out of shield or um ledge pressure. But the reflector is going to come in extreme handy in this game if Fanfood decide to throw throw out slap bombs. But they didn't throw too many out in the past two games. Oh wow, putting the jump. Pack will be far, far more confident this game. Honestly, maybe the switch was caused by just Swordfighter has a lot of kill points, and he wasn't oh, really yeah. finding those kills, so maybe that's what it is. Or maybe just more confident with this character, I'm not quite sure, but it's working out, you know, our, our doubt is uh, being put to shame right now. I think the thing that happens with me is that people talk about them and they're like, oh, like, you have to learn how they play based on their specials. Like, I feel like you can learn how they play in a certain way based on the moveset alone. Excluding specials, because you know there is that up air from the uh, me sword fighter yeah, or the too. down air. Down there's some really good. There's stuff from brawler like um, fastball nair and like grab. You know, if you learn the basic fundamentals of each me sword fighter for matchups, you can learn pretty quickly from what specials they have, kind of what they're gonna go for. I feel. But going back to this match, um, Pack Diesel at 18, kind of getting the upper hand on Fafu right now. Both of them playing their neutral game pretty well. Oh, nice brain trap by Peck Diesel. Looking in control, Fanfu kind of, kind of wavering this game, but you know, once again, Inkling, big damage output, has the potential to kill, not the greatest yeah. potential, but it exists. And pressure off stakes. That has a lot of end lags. Uh, Peck's going to get caught in that. Splat bomb? Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, not get getting caught because of uh, Invulm from Get Up Attack. A throw, not sure if it's oh! That's Booyah. Oh not my. quite. Good DI. Good DI. Definitely out of the range now. Fans have got to find another way to kill right now. Oh my Ch god. Chakram, Chakram trapping. That is surprising. Down throw up air. The thing about, That's uh, up air <laughs> the thing about Swordfire's up air is that it's, it's like, it doesn't look strong at all. It doesn't look like a kill move. That's okay, Fanfu just needs to stay calm right here, but Pack, let's see if he'll just stay at a range, you know, keep throwing out Chakram, Tornado. Fanfu's had great um, neutral this entire set, not overextending, and hopefully they might be able to do it, you know. 142, almost max rage, so we'll see if they'll be able to eke it out or if Pack Diesel's going to be able to shut this down. Pack Diesel just not giving that F, oh my god, that feels way not. stronger than I thought it would be, honestly. <laughs> No, Meat Swordfire is a pretty beefy character. Oh it doesn't look like it is, though. Back air, Whip jab, my kill. Up to almost kill. killing. Literally anything from Meat Swordfire could kill. I'm pretty sure Nair can kill right now, too. Fanfu just needs to find this one opening. Hack Diesel really looking for that back air. 
up tilt, that's it. gonna do oh, it. Oh yeah. All right, two one pack diesel. I'm not sure if I see that's an upside. There was good DI from that up tilt, but at once.